the post game podcast i'm your host june i got my boy b foster and we are continuing the off-season vibes and we're continuing the basketball prospects what we have here today is uh, another nba uh 2024 nba featured uh uh nba prospect and before we even get into it i want you guys to subscribe to bleachers and speakers on youtube foster has done a masterful job with these uh, player profiles, and there's so many more on the channel, uh, check us out there. And you can also check us out on all podcasts, streaming platforms for your audio feed. That's Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, whatever. Just type in Post Game Podcast, FFSN in the search. You'll see the logo, follow us, uh, download the episodes. And now, we'll, without further ado, Foster, Tell us who we're talking about today as your featured player. All right. The next feature player we're going to talk about is Cody Williams out of Colorado. He uh, scored 11 points a game. He had 55, um, shot 55% from the field and had three rebounds per game. He measures in at 6'8", 185 pounds. Uh, definitely some room to uh, build some muscle mass there. But he is a, he is a versatile for, forward with high upside. Um, his brother, Jalen Williams, um, also plays for the OKC Thunder. Um, he's uh, been in the league for a few years. Um, but Cody is uh, projected to be a possible number one pick, actually. Um, despite the fact that he had an injury-riddled uh, college uh, season, he had some wrist and ankle issues. Um, as far as his strengths, he is a Swiss Army, Swiss Army knight. On both ends of the floor, he can play on or off ball, and he can switch onto um, one through five players. And he went from the point guard to center position. Um, he runs the floor well in transition, and he was in the 86th percentile as a cutter, which is very essential um, when playing off ball. Um, he shot 45% um, in catch and shoot opportunities, and he converted 75% of shots around the rim. Um, he shot 72% from the free throw line, and he shot 41% overall from three. So a good outside shooter, a good a player that can play off um, off the ball and uh, get open, you know, for passes. Um, the weakness that he has is creating his own shot. Um, as far as shooting off the dribble, he only shot 28% in only 14 attempts. Um, he has a slow release. Uh, which could cause problems for him at the next level as players are more athletic and um, a lot faster and taller. Um, but some of those issues may have been due to the fact that he did have some he did have some injuries, you know, to his wrist and his ankle that could have you know very well affected his um, ability to create his own shot. Um, he was also he only shot twenty nine percent on floaters as uh, as well. So um, creating his own shot and um, creating his own shot was, was a difficulty uh, for him. And that may be a question as to whether or not he has the, um, the burst to blow by defenders at the next level. Um, with his length and size, um, some of those things, you know, with a little bit of craftiness, and physicality, you know, building some muscle that's going to that's going to assist him in um, attacking the rim at the next level. And, you know, as we've already highlighted, you know, he's going to he's going to grow beyond 185 pounds to fill out that six, eight frame. So that that should assist with some of his uh, uh, with, some, with some of his issues, creating his own shot. Um, but o overall, um, he, he, he has a high ceiling and um, he has he, he could possibly be the, the number one player, you know, if, if 
put in the right direction, he's going to be able to, um, you know, perform and uh, be a, a difference maker immediately. Um, but that is Cody Williams. Hey, man, I ain't mad at 41% from three-point line, man. I, whether you can create your shot or not, I mean, that that's what they make screens for, and that's what they run plays for. So, right. You know, what I was going to say also, not to cut your wisdom, as far as his fit with Detroit, um, we, we need to continue to add more athleticism. Obviously, we went and got a Sar Thompson who kind of fills that same role minus the, you know, he's, he's much – He's much more polished offensively and, can, and is a much better shooter. Um, but the, uh, just the simple fact that, you know, with us already having a, 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 a ball dominant guard, he will be able to um, he'll be able to work off of them because he can move without the ball. He can spot up and shoot. Um, so he, he fits pretty well next to um, Cade. And obviously I, he'll be able to play the three or the four at the next level. Well, He'll be able to play three or four at the next level. It just kind of depends on who he's, he's you know, guarding because obviously at his at his weight, he's going to struggle with the um, the bigger, stronger, powerful. Yeah, it just depends on who's 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 the other four he's guarding. Because nowadays, as you have used all you said a lot, there you know these fours don't weigh much nowadays. <laughs> they're 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 uh, they're getting they're they're smaller. So. Uh, yeah, it just depends, man. That's uh once again, you've done a great job in your research. I know nothing about any of these prospects, so it's been a joy to watch and listen uh as you go through these. And these are unrehearsed by me and Foster. Foster does his thing, and just like the people that are listening and watching, I am in the audience as well. So I appreciate this. This was dope. Uh like I said, subscribe to Bleach Speakers on YouTube. Check us out for our audio feeds on any of the podcast streaming uh, platforms. Just type in podcast, post game podcast, FFSN, and get your audio feed. Follow us, download the episodes. Finish!